back? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah. All right. You you're gonna love the fit. You're gonna. Let, let's see it, man. Oh shit! Here we go. <laughs> Oh, you see the you see the 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 slacks. You, you see that? You only throw on some slacks, man. No, you only throw on some I got slacks. I got them, man. I got. <laughs> I throw on a whole button up shirt, man. We gonna be in this bitch. Oh, we gonna be formal. I'm supposed to go golfing later. <laughs> but I don't have any. No, you're not. I don't have any clubs. <laughs> no, I don't have any clubs. I don't have any clubs. So. But, I mean, uh, Shug, Shug and Brando were talking about it last night, and they were just talking about golf, and I'm, I'm not real big into it. I said, I don't have any fucking golf clothes or any shit like that, and so, that's why I don't know if you looked at my Snapchat, I fucking, yeah, I went, to Snapchat. oh, good for you, good for you, yeah, there's no reason to have it, but, uh, I fucking... Oh, I fucking... God dang it, man. Stupid microphone. I, uh... I went to Target this morning. <laughs> and, I, and I balled out like a bad bitch. <laughs> look, look, I got my Starbucks. Yeah, okay. I ain't never drink Starbucks in my life, dude. Like, just for the hot chocolate. I'm a child. Like, that's it. I don't like coffee. I don't like anything like that. But I got. I, I was like, this shit tastes like a milkshake. Shout out to one of my exes that put me on. But uh, it's like that white mocha frappuccino, some shit like that. Yeah. Like, it just tastes like a milkshake, so that's why I get that hoe. I'm gonna wait for you to get your fit on. Oh, yeah. Throw on some shoes too. Don't throw on the don't throw on the uniform now. <laughs> <laughs> See like these? See this? That's sprint ready. You gotta have <laughs> you gotta have sprint ready. I'm ready to golf, motherfucker. You know. You throw on the tie. You throw you ain't gotta look man, this is just a golf outfit. We're not going to the fucking Like what? <laughs> This guy wanna throw on a tie, you trying to outdo me. But yeah, you gotta be fucking, oh, you know, just fucking, these slacks, these slacks are nice, dog. Oh, shit. But I, I, I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm not a big golf type dude. So, well, might be fun. But I think I'm just gonna go get drunk and fuck with Creek's ball. Anytime he tries to hit, I'm just gonna go fucking move it. Mess his shot up. Sure, whatever. Oh, uh, uh, Pete. Okay, okay, no tie. No tie. The belt. No tie. <laughs> no tie. Thank God. Thank God. He had the full the button up. Shoots. Oh, man. I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in my socks. <laughs> You gotta be comfy in the pod, dog. You ain't gotta wear the shoes on. <laughs> but uh, welcome to the Nicky J Cast, Matt. Thanks for coming on, dog. Oh, you know. This is. Uh, I think this is. <laughs> it's been uh, it's been a minute since I've done it. It's been so five. I was about to say five. It's five, right? Yeah. 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 This is episode five. Uh, I have a very good friend here with me. Uh, this is Mister. Uh, Matthew Ford, uh, or I'll I'll de -do I'll dox that if you want me to. I, I don't want to use your actual name, whatever, whatever you want to go on. <laughs> nah, no, you're fine. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this is a long time homeboy. Uh, you know, a fellow Texan that's out of Texas right now. Um, you no, know, Matt. Yeah, t tell us a little bit about you. Where you, where you from? What you doing? Oh, you know, I'm from the great state. Texas. Uh, you, you can see in Nikki J's camera, there's a Texas flag there. Uh, and I am currently serving in the United States military. I work on nuclear submarines, maintaining the weapon system. Strategic weapon system. The fucking 
whenever you told me that, it kind of blew my mind. I was like, oh, okay, he's joining the military, good for him. But whenever you said, like, yeah, like the nuclear weapons type shit, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bigger deal than, than I thought. Yeah. Number one mission of the Department of Defense, strategic deterrence. So, I mean, you, so you said special weapon systems. Obviously, oh, oh, well, you're not going to be able to go into, like, detail, obviously, for a lot of shit. And, you know, for you can, a fair reason, right? Yeah, you can ask me. I, I can answer. I'm not going to. A little bit. I'm not going to fucking, you know, I dig give too you deep. A, a broad explanation. Uh, explanation, yeah. Yeah. No, what it would be is just like, um, when you say that, so you're, so when you're gone, what, what happens, you know, from my knowledge, we'd be playing video games all the time and on discord all the time, but then you take like this hiatus for about, I don't know, a couple months maybe. And then yeah. you, you come back and I say, Matt, where'd you go? And you didn't fucking say anything to anyone. Then you go, I was underwater <laughs> for six months. Or some shit like that. You're like, yeah, just, yeah. just underwater. And it blew my mind. I was just like, oh, fuck. Well, you got to be, I, I fucking salute you regardless because I couldn't fucking sit like six months. Like just, I mean, I guess it'd be interesting, but it just all depends. It's work regardless. You get up every day and you work six months yeah. straight. Uh, So... The fast attack submarines, which I'm not on, they do the six month deployments. My deployments are two to three months, and then it feels we'll come like back. Six. Yeah, it feels like a long ass time. Uh, we'll come back. We'll switch with the opposite crew because there's two crews uh, on the submarine, mm -hmm. but one owns it at a different time. We'll switch crews, and then they'll go out for two to three months. They'll come back, and we'll switch back. And it's just back mm -hmm. and forth mm -hmm. for the whole year so so there's a crew out right now yeah okay and you and you said you're rounding up on your next appointment probably soon because you've been here probably about a month or so yeah so they they kind of got fucked because they are doing back to back which is uncommon but it happens mm -hmm. uh so yeah they had came back about a month ago and then they just left uh, a couple weeks ago. Is there like a like a name for your crew that you can like you know name out or like something like that, like uh, the platoon or or like what is it like something? So, the crew that's out is we call them Gold Crew, and then our crew is Blue Crew. I know. So I'm just I'm just saying, put on for your team, man. You know, like the ranks or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, you know. Start throwing your set, like whatever it is that y'all do. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You said it's blue <laughs> crew. Yeah, we're blue crew. Okay. That's yeah. that's we, interesting. We both hate each other. Oh. Gold crew hates blue crew. Blue crew hates gold crew. But it's to to get that position, so you had to go through the boot camp, right? Yeah. And you went through. Uh, so like weapons training did you go through combat training and shit like that uh no so well first off before you even go to boot camp you pick your job mm -hmm. uh like you go to uh meps and you take your asvab and then you got to go through all these medical screening shit and at the end of it the process they'll tell you what uh jobs you qualify for um, mm-hmm what I was going for was a nuke, which is they work on the nuclear reactor side. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't qualify for that, so I was like, hey, man, uh, give me something that's... Along that some, line. Yeah, somewhat similar. They were like, ah, oh, missile technician, man. You work on uh, nuclear weapons. I was like, oh, that sounds dope. Why didn't you get uh, the, the one that you wanted? So, like, what, you wanted to be in the reactor system and, you know, seeing how it goes? Uh... And I didn't score high enough on a, a certain topic, so I didn't qualify for it. That's crazy. Yeah. It's fair, I guess, but, like, you scored high enough to get another job, I guess, though, right? Yeah. 
Uh, I think I qualify for all jobs with the exception of those. And special warfare. Oh, what the fuck? Special warfare? Yeah, so the seals and shit. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right, the seals. But yeah, that's that's a whole different process to get into that. Yeah, that's, that's when the combat training and shit like that comes in comes into play yeah. correct okay okay but you still went through like a camp and everything right mm-hmm boot camp eight weeks long showed up same shit people we yelling in your face yeah yeah I, I don't Cold I, as fuck. I couldn't where, where were you doing boot camp at I was in Chicago so oh the, yeah yeah the first day I showed up it snowed yeah. and until I graduated that snow was still there God. frozen God, fuck and it got down to like negative 58 i was like yeah this shit cold send me back to texas <laughs> but like oh i i guess though it's it's worth it in to you now you could say it's worth it in the end because like you like your job you like going under the water you like being on a submarine you know for about a month or two right i mean i think it'd be cool in a way personally from an outside perspective but you had to work to get there you know what i mean yeah uh all i can say is you won't know if you like your job until you actually get to do your job yeah that's true and i think it took me about two years into my contract before i actually got to start doing my job and i can tell you right now if i could have another job i would I would want another job. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. It, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, fine details mm -hmm. that go and see this specific job because we work with nuclear weapons, so we have to follow a different set of rules. Mm -hmm. And they just suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. I, I guess what I was really trying to ask is like... Uh, the stupid basic main question that every civvy asks is uh <laughs> is uh why did you enlist why did i enlist uh why are you helping I... the the white man today huh <laughs> explain <laughs> <laughs> i was in a bad spot in my life and i was trying to get out that's all, that's all i'll say that's fair that's fair you don't have to elaborate i mean you must have been, you know, to, to to be pushed to that point to where you're like, I need to do something that that puts me out of my comfort zone or, or something like that, that betters me as like a person, you know, like in the end. I guess that's, is that what you're saying you tried to do? Because you, you felt like you were just working the same mundane job, you yeah, know. Yeah, I was going through the, the cycle, just following the flow, I guess. Well, let's see, that's kind of like my my thing, you know, with me right now that I've had, like, with my electric, like, my electrical shit. It's good to be an electrician, but, like, I would, uh, I would work at, like, you know, I'd help build some of the Amazons down in Texas, you know, and, um, but I was being put on crews that are, uh, from DFW that, that have been there since 1950, like, like, electrical companies that have been there since you know helping build dfw since 1950 but yeah. they they use like huge ass crews with just a bunch of people and it, like as many people as you think you know mexicans white people you know it doesn't matter it was the craziest thing because whenever it comes to those big commercial buildings um those those companies that recruit like 50 electricians to do like a big ass warehouse it still feels like a job at the end of the day. You're not like a, you know, it still feels like you do, I still do, like you said, the same mundane shit, you know. I get up every morning, you know, fucking 5, 6 a.m. whenever the job starts and do my 8 or 13 hours, whatever it may be. Go home, sleep, do the same shit again, you know. Yeah. So it, it, it does get that, that little to an extent like even with electrical and then like like blue collar work and trades i still feel the same way i'm not saying that's what you felt but like 
I think that's what you were trying to say is like where you just, you know, the repeat, you feel like you're not going anywhere. I mean, even yeah. even if like cuz I have the potential to be a journeyman or a master electrician, but in my eyes, it's just like it's a lot of fucking stress. Most of the journeymen and master electricians I see now, they're either fucking recovering alcoholics or divorced. And it's just like, why? And they're like, well, because I'm working all the fucking time. Anytime that I've asked them that, that's what they say. They say, my job stresses me out. I get shocked almost 24-7. <laughs> uh, and they're having me work asinine hours because people need power. People yeah. want to get shit done, you know? And it's stressful. So I'm like, I just want to be a worker at some point. For now. For now, obviously. You know, yeah. I, but, you know, those things do bring, like, you know, more money and everything like that. But to me, money don't mean fucking shit to me, you know. I mean, money comes and goes. So, you'll get, I'll get it again. But obviously, you know, everybody so are wants. You, are you still doing the same thing that you're doing in Texas up there? or? Well, for the past month, I, w I was working for a, a pool company. And, uh, dude, it was fucking, I've never built pools before. Um, but I came to the pool company thinking like, oh, I'm going to help set up the lights and, you know, all the power work, set up, mount the panel. Um, yeah. like, cause I, I, that's essentially, I know how to help do that. I know how to, you know, cut the steel, where to mount it, leveling. I know how to measure. I know how to make sure it's right. You know, it's common. Most of the shit at the end of the day is common sense and there's code to it. You have a national code that you have to go by. So it doesn't, you know, <clears throat> fuck up or. Or just you have to get that check mark from someone certified that, yeah, this electrical work is okay. It's up to code. You know, basic bullshit, right? I thought I was going to do that for pools. But whenever I got on, I was like fucking, <laughs> I was well mistaken, dog. I was doing, uh, when I say this, like I've never, I've never worked harder in my life uh, than I did for that company. But also for such little pay, I took a pay cut. To go to a company, you know, but now I did you know it. How Raul felt, huh? I said, now you know how Raul felt. Oh my! I, Shout I, out Raul. I didn't. I. What do you? <laughs> well, you don't got to tell me too much, but he took a pay cut or something like that. I guess. Uh, I'm talking about the building pools aspect. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, there ain't no way that fool took a pay cut. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh. Well, he did, like, the tiling and shit like that, but I was doing every fucking thing for it. And what yeah. what blew my mind is I was only there for a month. <clears throat> it's because I like to put time frames on, on things that I do, you know? Like, I just I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. And also, uh, is it worth my energy? More so with that. Um, yeah. I was making all right money, and if I stuck with it, I'd probably make better money. But uh, I would get up. At, you know, some days we would have a, a dig day. They would bring an excavator out and we would have to line up the perimeter of the pool, you know, and set the sticks down, spray it down, follow the prints. I know how to follow prints. I was doing everything like very simple, like very cordial, everything like just like, all right, tell me how to help. Point me in the direction. What can we do to get this going so I can fucking get home sooner today? <laughs> Yeah. But that was never the case with this job because they didn't have that many fucking people, you know. And they were always working us like 14, 15 hour shifts. It was, Damn. it was, it was asinine. And it'd be the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. And I, and I was like, oh my God. But it's not just electrical work. We're sitting there, we're stirring concrete, we're either fighting the fucking mud. Dude, I had to help dig a pool in the fucking snow. For the first time whenever I got here. It <laughs> snowed when I got here and I was like, wow. I mean, I asked for it. I asked for it. So, but, you know, it, you don't work that hard as an electrician. And I was doing basically in my eyes like seven trades at once, you know, for the price of one. And and they're the, there's probably about five other older guys there and they help run it granted you know they're driving the work trucks and they're getting all the paperwork and they're showing us how to you know do all the work done and everything and they have the material but you know they're they're all salary pay 
You know, when you just yeah. pay a couple guys, you know, hourly, you know, shit like that, you ain't got to worry about much. You just slide them their checks at that point. The salary pay, you're already at a set rate regardless. So you're fucking working no matter how, how long he fucking says, <laughs> you know, and you'll get your ass chewed out for it. So I'm just like, I have to measure it out, you know. As I was going there, the electrical jobs were all right, but it just wasn't with the stirring the concrete in a in a wheelbarrow fighting the mud slipping on my ass and i fell on my ass and i fell on my back and i was just looking up at the fucking sky and i was like man i'm i'm not gonna last the seven months that they want me to last here (laughs) because this this ain't it there's no way i'm gonna fucking cement myself in something that i don't like i mean i don't like you know working regardless but damn i've never worked harder in my life you know <laughs> just it's just the cement and the fight in the mud and the long hours that was it if they just had me do the electrical work on the side you know come in set my panel up do what i gotta do dig my trench for my pipes do what i gotta do leave i'm chill but the peanut yeah that was peanut in the back <laughs> But, um, uh, eventually I'll, I'll fucking, uh, right now your boy is unemployed, <laughs> but, I, but you know what? I fucking, I didn't, I didn't spend any of my checks from the whole fucking month of overtime and my, my bank looking all right, you know, it's, it's looking all right. I mean, it ain't much, but you know, I'm definitely good right now and I'm not tripping because like I got my, I just sent all my, my, uh. My license shit over from Texas to Michigan. So, yeah. uh, I hate to, you know, kind of keep going on and talking over you. My bad. But, uh, Are you, good? uh you know, I made sure before I moved here that the electrical licensing, you know, transfers over from state to state. Um, cause I didn't want to fucking just up and leave my shit there and be like, all right, well, I got to start over again, you know, up in another state, you know, from ground zero. But that's not the case, really. I mean, uh, you know, I called the license, uh, the both states, you know, I called Texas and then I called, you know, Michigan state licensing and they said, yeah, hours transfer over. You just gotta, you know, find a master electrician to sign off, uh, on your hours that you've accumulated, bring proof of hours to that master electrician. And then they will, you know, just say, check, you can go ahead, go take your journeyman's test. Um, you gotta go through probably a week's class or however long. It may be, um, and at the end of the class, you'll take this journeyman test. There you go. And I'm like, all right, bet. See, what they were trying to have me do back down in Texas is, like, I already, you know, worked at a company for about a year or so. And once you get put through a a school or the company, you know, wants to sponsor you through the school, you can... uh, or you're set in that school and you're set at a set pay rate for about four years until you're done. And there's two ways that you can go about getting your journeyman's license. Um, a lot of the ways that the older guys do it now is, uh, from my knowledge, they do the work for about four to five years, maybe, whatever it is. And then at the end of those four to five years, there's programs that you can take a week's long class or something like that the state offers and you go ahead and you go take your your state your your week long class and then you at the end like i said you go take your test but also like i said before the way that you should probably do it is go through the program like the actual apprenticeship program it's called IEC International Electric uh, Curriculum or something like that but um you go it's a four year program like i said but you kind of fuck yourself at that point because you're set at a set pay rate. Your set pay rate is like 25 cents every three months or something like that, which is all right. And it, and it means you're definitely guaranteed pay no matter what. But when you're there, you're set at that. That's what I had to experience my first time in my first company. It's like, oh, no, nah, I'm not in the school no more boss I, i'm i'm doing all these hours i'm working all this bullshit nah i set my own rate 
you know, I want a dollar or two or whatever. And he goes, all right, you got a point. I can't, I can't argue with you. So whenever you go to the school, you kind of fuck yourself at some points. But, but in, in the end, the knowledge aspect is because it covers so much more than just electrical. It's like, you know, uh, pump flow, you know, elevator shafts, electricity, you know, pistons, you know, bullshit like that. Just almost anything that can do with electric other than just your normal outlets and ceiling fan and light here and there. Yeah. So, but in my eyes back then, I was so fucking done with school. I just did, you know, 12 years of it. And then after school, I tried two years of college. And then I said, I'm, I'm fucking done with school. I'm, I've just been forced to do something majority of my life. What makes them think that I want to do something like more school again? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's, that's probably a terrible way to think. You should go to school. Everybody stay at school. Keep doing what you're doing. All right? But this is Nikki J. All right? I fucking... <laughs> I hated it, man. I was just like, there's no way, bro. There's no way. I, I'll do the work when it comes to it. But... <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Choking on my spit. <coughs> Keep it down. I'm <laughs> talking too fucking much. <laughs> hey, drink some water, man. Shout out to Sensha, best water on the world. Shout out to Starbucks. <clears throat> oh, that's right, hot chocolate. It's not a hot chocolate. Mocha, whatever. But, uh, you made me lose my train of thought now from dying on my spit. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, nah, the, uh, I just was, I, I wasn't wanting to. I did it, and it was hard. But also, if you fail at the school, in the uh, in IEC, some things that are good about it is that <coughs> if your job was to ever, or your sponsoring employer was to ever fire you, yeah, uh, the school will find you another company, and you can go work at that company. So you're you're basically guaranteed a job, which is a plus. Yeah, but. You're guaranteed a job regardless if you go out and find it on your own, which is what happened to me. You know, all you got to do is just go out there and go find it and start asking, you know, put in your applications, shake hands, you know, you, you fucking do the normal adult bullshit. You just don't. <clears throat> yeah, you can't. I didn't want to just, you know, be tied to the school exactly, too. So. <clears throat> I need that water. Hold up. What's that Kirkland? <coughs> but, uh, yeah, I, uh, it is funny. I, I guess nobody really knows about this, too, like, from the public. I got fired from my first electrical company, and, uh, I was still in the school at the time. And it was funny, too, because I had to figure out how to tell the school, nah, I don't want y'all to find me another job. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, uh, uh, uh oh, okay, bye. <clears throat> granted, <laughs> granted that that might fuck up, like, the future of me, like, if I ever wanted to go back. And I'm like, oh, uh, like, I know I, I left, and, you know, and I... I said I didn't need y'all's help, but, like, I'd really like to try and come back, you know, but I don't think that'll ever be the case. <laughs> I'm, I'm very cemented in my ways of not trying to go back to school. <laughs> <clears throat> but I understand everybody's got to learn. You got to, like I said, you got to take a week's long class. You have to take a test to get that license regardless. So I'm going to have to hit the book sooner or later. I got the code book and everything with me when you go take the test that's all you're allowed to take with you is a calculator and your code book <clears throat> but whatever you write in your code book is up to you so yeah that's like every test yeah <coughs> yeah so i mean it is what it is but i'm not tripping it's all construction you know in general yeah. i i just I'm willing to work with my hands for now. That's the thing. Like, I'm 
I'm not tripping right now. I'm not. That's the thing with me is like military is like at my wit's end. <laughs> that's when I've f- failed too much in my eyes. Not 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 to like say anything like that, but like or down it down the choice or anything like that. But uh, because being a shitty construction worker ain't any better. Trust me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, a lot of people in the military they don't join. Because they they love the country that they join. Because either they want free school or this is a way to get out. Or a Hellcat. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, or a Hellcat or a Camaro. <laughs> All that good shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's good benefits. I mean, I trust me. I I've had uh, you know my grandfather was a Marine, and he flew the big ass uh, helicopters. You know the twin blade fucking propeller helicopters those ones those ones (laughs) i don't even know what they're fucking called but they're like the ones that hold like shit ton of troops and some cargo and shit like that but uh he was a marine for it was like world war ii i think yeah it was during world war ii times and uh yeah just he's been like he was able to get a piece of land off of that you know retire just sit on his ass and do whatever he wants and it was kind of funny because like i was like or my dad told me he was like you know people after the military or no actually what's fun here i'm so one track minded i have to think about it you you ever seen that picture it's a meme on twitter it's like it's obviously like uh something with the military but it's people in uniforms and it said all right, you served. Now what? And <laughs> like, because I guess like after you're done serving, yeah, you got like to figure some, out what you want to do. Well, is it like you keep fucking working? Because if I just got done fucking helping the country for something fucking years, then I'm sitting on my ass. I'm sorry, that's me. But <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I don't know how long your grandpa served, but like to retire out of the military it needs to be 20 years plus and then you get your pension so you get paid for retirement mm-hmm. but if I were to retire I wouldn't get that so I would have to keep working could you leave and come back yes I can, I can leave come back I think if I come back within two years I can keep my rank if not, <clears throat> then I gotta restart. Mm. Did you start getting demoted, dude? Yeah. Um, E5, which is, <clears throat> for me, it's Petty Officer Second Class, but for the rest of the branches, it's Sergeant. Ah, okay. <coughs> E5? E5. That E5. is my pay grade. <laughs> pay grade. And it, so whenever that's being said, does everybody in the, in the, like in the platoon basically know? Or like, pay like, no, yeah, your pay grade. They're like, oh shit, you're at this status now. I know what your pockets are like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you get paid the same amount, but it changes depending on how many years you served. Mm-hmm. So... An E5 that's been in two years, and an E5 that's at eight years get paid two different amounts, even though they're the same rank. Mm-hmm. But you said but, like you got just benefits alongside with that though too. So like yeah, fucking that military discount, boy. <laughs> hey, you get military uh, discount on OnlyFans? <laughs> I don't think so, bro. I'm not. I'm not sure if that comes if, with the description. If, if there is, if there isn't a woman out there. That's doing some sort of military... If OnlyFans doesn't have a military discount shit... Wait, you get military discounts online, like Amazon and shit, right? Uh, yeah? <clears throat> you ain't telling me you got I, Amazon... I think, I think there is. You ain't telling me you got Amazon Prime and you ain't getting no military discount. Hold up. <laughs> you ever think about that? <laughs> I, I, no, I've never thought about that. <laughs> Ah, Amazon does not offer military discounts. What? Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
<clears throat> I don't know how, like, I don't think a lot of, like, shit online is, like, really regulated to that much, because, like, I mean, at that point, because whenever we did military discounts, like, at the fast food restaurant, it's, you literally show your military ID, but I, yeah. I guess, like, online, you would have to, like, go through some sort of sending your application process, and then someone would have to read it, and then look at it, then, instead of just, yeah, send your money, and then we'll send it to you. It's, it's it probably takes a lot longer if you're in the military. I would assume. Yes. Uh, some places they won't give you a discount unless you're in uniform, even if you show them your ID. Yeah. Like play- they, like this Chick Fil A that uh, I go to, I try to get one and they didn't give me one because I wasn't in uniform. Shout out Chick Fil A. <clears throat> That's. Does that piss you off? Nah, I I don't care. I don't, I mean obviously I wouldn't care, but like. But I'm also... I'm in the military still. I'm like, but fam, like... I'm protecting you still. Look, here's my ID. Like, this is me. You want (laughs) me to go put on the the fucking suit and everything? Just for some fucking chicken nuggets, dude. Like... (laughs) I can say fuck the military and I wouldn't care. (laughs) (laughs) That's... That's... What they can do. I know, yeah. (laughs) It's fine. I mean, I just... I don't know. I I figure some places that that do that. I I wouldn't be surprised, but I think still, I I I think still definitely you you deserve a military discount on like your Hulu or some shit like that. The Spotify. <clears throat> nah. But the OnlyFans military discount that needs to happen. <laughs> How like, are we back for this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lonely uh, man. I'm a lonely man, dude. I'm a lonely man. Yeah, I used Speaking, to even use the military discount when I go out. Speaking of loneliness, hold on real quick. I'd like to go back on a topic that I talked with you about uh, not too long ago. Um, I I said, when you're on that sub, I was like, oh, how, yeah. many, how many people are on that sub? You know, you probably get kind of lonely in there. Uh, and you go. About you go, 140. 150 I I go <clears throat> I go damn that's a lot of people uh you got any females on there like at all like you talk to any females and then and like you go you're like yeah there are females there and I remember going I was like so could you like smash on the sub like underwater and and I can't remember what you said but you go you're like I mean it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely possible. I don't want to. I don't want to dox you. <laughs> They're gonna be like, um, <laughs> Sar- Sergeant Ford, who you be fucking in the? <laughs> He's looking oh, down. <laughs> He's looking down. Oh shit! Oh, no, I'm, I'm, fuck. I'm debating if I should say this or not. No, you ain't gotta like say anything. But like, uh. Tell me, how does it go about, like, rela- obviously workplace relationships is a no-go, all right? Like, anywhere, any company. So, I would say. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, it still happens on board. Like, a good friend of mine on the opposite crew is dating somebody on my crew. I mean, it works out. Well, that works out. Uh, but if they're on the same crew, it it's kind of hard because uh, you don't because you're living with them 24 7 for a certain amount of months and you don't get that uh that distance i think mm-hmm. and then they, they always end up failing mm-hmm. the relationships on the same career uh so on my last deployment all right we were talking about this smashing girls underwater thing <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was the last so we we actually had a two individuals have sex underwater on the submarine because i mean fuck it <laughs> she she got pregnant <laughs> she got pregnant under the water yeah and uh they actually went to captain's mask for that because the dude who smashed her uh was married Oh. And you can't be married and smashing females. 
Smashing, smashing other females. What a fucking savage, dude. There ain't no way. To, but honestly, look, I'm not going to support it because like, you're a married man. Come on, dog. Like, oh, like that's damn. so fucked. That's so fucked. That's a heavy situation yeah. in every aspect. Uh, so, because she's pregnant, she got not kicked out of the command, but re released from it. So she's not a part of us anymore. And then the other dude, he's about to leave. Or he, he actually just left. Hmm. He's going to his next uh, duty station. Oh, wait. So she, get, she gets kicked out, but he keeps his job? Well, she's kicked out because she's pregnant. Obviously. But, yeah. It, it, it's, no, it's, but he broke, a lo he broke a rule. Like He did, and he got his uh, punishment. I mean, obviously, uh, he probably got a, a pretty bad punishment. You ain't going to tell me. But, like, still, I think of... <laughs> Shit. I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's just all contingent upon the person and how good their work... Uh, relationship is and shit like that like how helpful they are to the team or whatever you know uh so we get ranked all right so every everybody in their pay grade gets ranked uh when it's time for evals like at the end of the year like who deserves an early promote must promote who's only promotable and the dude who i'm talking about was the number one in our <laughs> pay grade <laughs> you know you know like I could only imagine, because it's got to be that one chick that's looking at the top dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, nah, I ain't going to fuck him. <laughs> he, he, he ain't even prestige two yet. Like, like he ain't, <laughs> he, his rank up there. His rank, though, I'd suck his yeah, rank. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I think, uh, I... I guess it just makes sense, though. Uh, like I was saying, like, to... Was she... It, <laughs> it sound bad. Was she fine? <laughs> she gotta be fine. Yeah. <laughs> she, she gotta be fine. She was bad. You should get pregnant on the submarine, dude. Yeah. How does that, like... God dang, man. I don't even know what you're gonna tell the kids, man. You have... Uh, that's a cool, cool story, I guess. <laughs> no, yeah, that's a crazy story. But regardless, though, I mean, like, so who the fuck, who the fuck is in charge of get giving the punishment out, uh, or who who keeps like track of like if you're fucking on the sub or not? You know, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of yeah. is it, is it... so. Like when it's like nighttime and. When I say nighttime, it's, it's just a fucking uh, a three a.m. to eleven o'clock shift. All right, there's nobody walking around. So it, if you could just find a spot, and there's plenty of spots on a submarine where nobody goes, you can fuck there. Yeah, and there's probably little like crannies, little between pipes and shit like that. Uh, like little cubbies or some shit like that be like a scene out of eight mile you ever <laughs> seen that you seen that scene where, where he's in the fucking i know i know you're talking he's about he's in the factory yeah and just behind the behind the crates you know <laughs> <laughs> just fucking hitting it dude yeah reese witherspoon was that who it was that was reese witherspoon i think i don't know it was a blonde girl it was some blonde chick but no, I think, um, yeah, I, was, I thought it was funny asking you, like, hey, you got shorties on your on your ship? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they there, man. That's that's fucked. That's fucked, though. And I, like I said, though, the work the workplace relationship thing. He really your work husband at that point. <laughs> <laughs> when you really think about it, I think that term is so fucking. I don't know. What's your opinion on that? On like the, on the, the like, work husband. like I don't look. I'm not a, I'm not a taken man. So I will say this: like, you got a work husband, keep that shit at work. But I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
it. I I don't know. Like, what you think? I think is. Uh, I think if you got a man, or I'm speaking from a girl's perspective, if you got a man, and you go to work, and now you have a work husband who's not your man, that's wrong. Uh. But you're going back to your I, man. I think it's different whenever you're in a fucking submarine. <laughs> And you're away from your family. Like, when are, like, some, some like, understanding lines being drawn? You know? <laughs> uh, I mean... Obviously, don't cheat. I'm, I, get, I get that. End of day. Don't cheat. No workplace relationship, right? Yeah. But you know what? Mans was probably feeling lonely. <laughs> Mans just... You know, she's throwing him some energy. Some enters, you know. Yeah, come more than that. Come fuck me next to the nuclear bomb. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking. It's it's still wild to me that that happened. Um, I don't I don't care. Like, like I was saying, it's just different when you're in the military. I think obviously, you're you're like set. Like your mind is like. I mean, you're a di- different mindset. You're not going to fucking Kohl's and stocking the t-shirts or at your 9 to 5 McDonald's shift with with Ricky over there stirring the french fries and he think he's yeah. cute, you know? So, you're every fucking day seeing that person building that relationship. So, I... Yeah. I'm not saying... I'm Look, I understand. I understand, homeboy. You know, I <laughs> hope you're alright. I, shit. Oh yeah, he's he's good. You gotta, you better take care of that fucking kid. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know uh, if he's that's... gonna see the the kid's life because he's about to move away. That's a tough decision, dude. And I don't even know what's going on with his wife. I wonder how she she feels. His wife might be doing some shiesty shit. I don't know. You know, just. Behind behind closed doors, you never know what people got going on. So what's crazy is his wife is bad too. His wife is bad. I think she looked better than old girl. Oh, why is she Asian? Nah. Oh. Wow. What? You don't expose me like that. I didn't. I didn't say anything. I just. Yeah, but... You know how some wow. people look. Wow. Yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on our, to our next topic. You know how some people have a type, right? Yeah. And it's been very predominant that you are in my yeah that that you are a an acquiring taste of the uh, of the uh, what's that, dude? I'm not gonna fuck. I, this is a very I shouldn't be talking about race. <laughs> you you, right. you like you like All Asian right. women? I I do Asian. Laotian, East Eastern, whatever, whatever it's called. I'm ignorant. I'm sorry. What would you fucking call it? <laughs> you could just, you could just stuck at Asian boy. I know. Yeah. Well, people want you to be fucking specific nowadays, dog. That's all. That's all. But uh, you know how people have types, and whenever you hang around people, you you you're like, oh, I know you're looking at that right there. Like I know you looking. Cause anytime I fucking like see like an Asian chick on my feet, I'm like, oh Matt would like that. Oh Matt would like that. <laughs> Little fucking TikToks that you send me. <laughs> but that's the problem though. They're starting to get in my feed, and I'm starting to like them now. <laughs> <laughs> I never hated an Asian. Look, all women, oh, my. all all women are beautiful regardless. You know. Speaking, hold up. Before. Are you gonna send me something? I gotta send you this. Because I had to see it, so now you have to see it. Okay. But on that topic... Real... Watch them. All, All right. right. You're good. On that topic, though... It sound... This is just a misogynistic cast, I guess. You know? We're just talking about fucking under a sub and... Uh, and women. 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 And, the, and, how the, and what happens when they get pregnant. And how they have to go on leave i hope she gets her job back bro and i mean she still has the same job but i think for the duration of her pregnancy she can't it's, do her job well yeah you're stuck in a 
point where you have the kid and then you got to help either raise the kid or, you know, find someone else to do that, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a parent. I wouldn't be able to say. But um, what I was about to say, though, is, uh, bro, since I've moved to Michigan, there's there's a lot of blonde blonde women out here. <laughs> like I expect. Well, in Texas... Ah, dude, this sounds so bad. Like I said, this is misogynistic cast. But uh, in Texas, it's like a lot, it's a predominantly like lot. It's a very big mixed bag down there. Up here, it's just a bunch of Polish and like <laughs> Canadians. Can- Canadians, yes, people from Canada. Canada. Did you send me the shit? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's on Twitter. Oh, you sent it on Twitter. Let me see. You know, anytime someone sends me just the link, I'm kind of scared. I don't want to click. If if I can't see the image or the thumbnail of what it is, why should I click on it? I don't know why I didn't show the thumbnail. <laughs> don't show it to the camera. Let's say that. Let's... Watch. No, keep watching. What do you want me to keep? Keep watching. A se- Open it back. Up. A sec. That's that's Keep that's. <sighs> for the content, for the content. <clears throat> I'm not gonna describe what I'm watching here, but uh, man, this is some shit Dorian sent you, dude. Probably, huh? This some. Oh. It was. <laughs> no. 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 Did you see the little wink at the end? I'm, I'm not. I'm bite. not. No, I'm not opening the whole video. That's the thing. It's cut off. It's cut off on his face. I. I don't want to see his face. I just. I just have it. It's auto playing. You know how from like the the regular Twitter screen, like it's just. I don't need. I don't need that whole ass thing on my my screen right here, dude. That's. This motherfucker did a little, little wink at the end, after he took a bite. <laughs> Oh God! Hey, links in the description if you want to see it. No, I'm not putting that in the description. <laughs> this guy right. just links in the comments and you just want to see it. Links in the Patreon one day. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day. Um, speaking of fucking content, uh, did you watch the iDub shit last night that I was streaming? Uh, the fight. Yeah, the fight. Nah, I heard about it, but I didn't see it. Um, it, it was actually so we. St- I started watching it, or Ganjman put it on whenever uh, Justin Minx was fighting, and uh, so we missed probably about like four other fights before that, or something like that. Yeah. And and first, let me like put it out there, like I'm a, I'm not a big, I'm still just kind of getting into like the whole streaming thing. I don't know who Justin Minx is, you know, I, but obviously she's yeah. like a a big streamer or, or becoming like one of those big streamers and uh <clears throat> but that fight between her and the the Haley chick bro i've never seen girls throw hands like that ever like it was actually kind of impressive no one had so what their big selling point on this like uh creator clash thing that they were doing is that like these ksi logan paul um tiktok boxing you know, events yeah. held by, like, Thriller and and shit like that. You know, granted, KSI and Logan Paul was probably as real as it got, like, when it first started. When it was first started. But... Everybody was trying to recreate it. Yeah, well, and then after that, like, people realized, like, it's entertainment more so than anything. They're trying to turn it from being a sport more so than entertainment. So meaning that... The money behind those big companies, like I said, Thriller, uh, DAZN, um, you know, TikTok, YouTube, TikTok and yeah. YouTube were like one of the, TikTok having their little, you know, TikTok versus whatever, you know, fight thing. That a lot of that, not saying it's um, scripted or pre-planned, but there's usually enough money rolling around where someone's willing to take a fall. 
um, for a check because they're content creators. You know, they're not real boxers. It's a check. So, but the thing that's going back to this creator clash is that iDubs and all these guys really made that apparent. They're like, hey, you know, this is literally something we're trying to do just for fun and it's a charity event you know we're we're not gonna get like any of the proceeds it's all going towards like multiple charities and they showed the charities um one was like for uh it was like for uh dementia and and, like uh they had an autism one an autism awareness one i think and uh so after every boxing you know fight you know the the winner would choose like what charity it goes to or something like that and uh and i thought it was fucking cool because like like they said we weren't like nope when they went out there and fought bro it was just pure humans at its finest fucking just just arms fucking flailing like this and and no fucking technique whatsoever just fucking bah, 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 bah. yeah some fights were were like really good like the uh like some some of the dudes were really trying to like you know feel out and like really punch punch you know and hit but like no one got knocked out but the ref would call it when like they were getting teed up a bit and they weren't putting their hands up or some shit like that yeah they wouldn't yeah they wouldn't uh yeah no one got like knocked out knocked out but people got knocked down it was it's pretty impressive i was really impressed with the fucking event so I, i mean like I say all this to fucking say like I remember <laughs> Do you remember how all this how all this boxing shit started? And I don't think a lot of people remember how it all started. But do you remember? Uh, I mean I'm not even sure. Yes, I Well no, I you know, if I'm being a hundred percent honest, I think the uh the whole boxing craze came after the the fucking Conor McGregor and uh What's his name? Nate Diaz? No, Conor McGregor and uh Oh maybe Floyd. Weather. Yeah, I know what you talking about. Yeah. That fight. When that happened, I remember, you know, working for the uh a lifeguard company and I was working a pool and uh being a shitty lifeguard I was but it was near closing time. <laughs> Obviously it was at night. I was watching the fight between Conor McGregor and, you know, Floyd. <clears throat> and at the time of that, you remember the build-up for that? That was big. That's still a big moment. Uh, MMA champion and and boxing champion going head-to-head. You know, at the time, people were like, "Oh my God, this is a super fight. It's gonna be one of the greatest fights ever." They're close in weight. We'll see how it goes. Fight was, I, I don't know. It was I. You know, but regardless, people saw holy shit. Somebody from a different sport. Yeah, or some yeah. like they made it work where two things that shouldn't be fucking together in one place, you know, doing yeah. semi what they know, it works and it made a lot of fucking money. It broke records back then. I, they were saying how many how many uh, live stream records it broke and and shit like that. I can't remember the exact numbers, but just from that, I remember it being like a big snowball effect into uh you know what it is today all the fucking content fighting you know then the ksi logan pauls there's also many other like like smaller like little uh celebrity boxing matches you know small celebrities do it and shit like that i just think it it was like really interesting how (laughs) this whole fucking boxing thing i'm not saying it did but it probably came from you know the floyd and conor mcgregor thing you know, <clears throat> the KSI fight is Logan because it wasn't Logan. Oh no no that was Joe Weller. Ah yes, Joe Weller. That guy's a a real fighter too, I think though, or he semi uh, semi trained. He, he works out. He works out. That's it. I thought he was a fighter. Yeah, I think he, he works out. I think like the only. But KSI beat Content him. Content creator that was like an actual, that's an actual fighter is uh, Face Sensei. I was saying that last night, and everybody they were like, "Who the fuck is Face Sensei?" I was like, "I think Face Sensei does actual like MMA or some shit like yeah. that." So, so because the, the way he was um, doing the he was doing the the shout casting last night or whatever you call it, 
just one of the announcers and the way he was describing all the you know the punching and everything like alongside like moist critical and the other guy who the fuck was the yeah. tall guy who's that tall guy oh you didn't even see it you didn't watch I didn't it. See it well it was moist critical was one of the uh announcers alongside him but um yeah face sensei moist critical and some other guy i'm sorry it sounds so disrespectful but uh you know the way sensei was describing like the fights he looked like a because i didn't know really but his experience yeah. yeah he was like yeah the way he came in with his punch he went like this <laughs> you know doing the whole body movement bullshit and as you yeah. follow through you want to you want to follow through like this like this okay like this he was doing the fighting bullshit so i was like uh yeah he probably knows what he's talking about <laughs> but uh no nah, man you know big shout out to the fucking creators i fucking i loved it i don't I don't know. KSI said he's supposed to be boxing again. But, hey. yeah. But they didn't fucking... Uh, fight. <laughs> I, I watched... I think we're going to get a Logan Paul 3. No, it it really needs to be him fighting fucking Jake. I... I uh, yeah. I, it, it, I don't understand. You know, he said... He, he took two years off. You know, you know how Logan and... Logan did the other Floyd fight. He fucking Logan Paul fought Floyd. Like, you see that? Like, Floyd even ran it back a second time for, for a bag. We're just going to get paid. For some... Plus, ran- if, if Floyd lost miraculously, it wouldn't go on his record, so... I think that was part of his contract. It was all said in the beginning, you know, to begin with. Like, they said there's a no-knockout clause. <laughs> I, like, in some instances, there's no knockout clause. There's no knockout clause in the Tyson fight, in the recent Tyson fight. Tyson Most, and uh, Evander Holyfield. No, t- that was, that was that wasn't Holyfield. That was a. Uh, that it was. No, the most recent one from like two years ago or something like that. Where he fought when he was an old, where he's old, like old yeah. Tyson. I can't remember his fucking name. But it was Evander. It wasn't Holyfield. It was Ray. It was Ray. Oh. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Ray. Ray something. Is it Ray or Roy? Roy. Roy? It is Roy. <laughs> Roy Jones. Roy Jones. Is yeah. it Roy jo- Jones I, Jr.? I think so, yeah. I think. I don't know. Regardless, but whenever he did that, that's also another one of those super fights, man. It's just like everybody sees these boxing things as opportunity for like sponsorships and and money and shit like that but i do i think it's great you know the fucking you know i've only fucking boxed one time in my life and that was from the video (laughs) and (laughs) and the one time that i did it we did it for shits and giggles and boxing felt great because i'm i don't know how to throw my hands (laughs) so I only know how to like, kind of like pick you up and just throw you down on the ground and like just hold and hold we'll on go to get, you. Get uh, Nikki J uh, Creek too. See, we were talking about that last night. Creek came <laughs> over. I told him, I said, "Hey, I need, I need, I need the rematch. You know, we need a. That was a very successful video. You know, we got to go back running it again. At least whenever we plan the the cabin trip again, it's it's very hard to say right now. But we're gonna. I'm trying to get it get it going again." And I, I think he's down too, but nah, it was all fucking throughout love and respect for that fight. I'm not yeah. sure. If, I'm not sure if people know, but like, there's no beef. There's no beef. It was just stupid young kid shit. That's all. At at some nah, point, Freak been talking a lot of shit and he needs uh, ass whoop. That's what it was. Oh well, at the time, yeah, <laughs> I can't remember. Well. I mean, Creek really don't even piss me off like that much anymore. He, he really a good kid, but he's just stupid. He's just yeah. stupid. That's all. He chooses to be stupid. And you know, just shout out Creek because it takes some fucking balls probably to fight someone looking like me. I mean, I'm I'm scared in general though too. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, <laughs> dude, put a fucking shirt on. Is that Creek right there? <laughs> it's creek right there hey we're podcasting right now 
Oh, Toof! Bro, dude. dude. Go put a shirt on, dude. This is the podcast, dude. dude. What are you doing? Why are you naked? You just got up. That's what he's doing. And all he's sleep, man. I want to see the people in the podcast, man. It's it's Tufu. Let me see him, dude. <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> but um, we we're just talking about uh, Creek versus Nikki J J two. I mean, since you're here on the phone, do you want to give the people uh, you know, are you are you down for round two or no? Well, uh, can everybody hear me on the phone? Yeah. Uh, let it be known. I'm down for round two. Uh, <laughs> Let it be known. Look, man, all I'm saying is I'm not going to have six six shots of fireball in my system this time. So, all I'm saying yeah, is we're going to train for, for it. <laughs> he said I'm shooting up. You say you're shooting up? Yep. <laughs> How much do you weigh yeah. right now? Uh, I like cool ones. Buff, buff 50. 170, 180, you look like 185. Nah, that's too high, I'm like 170, 160 something. I just weighed myself yesterday, I'm like 214. Yeah, we're almost the same weight. I weigh, how much I weigh, 150? Yeah, you said you, yeah, you're like 150. 150. Yeah, 149. But, uh, oh shit. This shit was facing the wrong way the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you were looking at my suitcase the whole time. But, uh. Yeah, bro, you like the fit? Yeah, bro, is that your golf attire? Yeah, bro. Yeah, we're going. Are we going still or no? Yeah. Yeah. Our seat time got changed to one thirty. So we got idea. we got time, is what you're saying? Kinda, yeah. I was I was fucking rushing this shit. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe. Is that? The, oh no, that's Texas time. Yes. Yeah, no. To say, yeah, I old. thought I just seen it say eleven. No, I haven't changed my computer time yet. I was thinking about like maybe like leaving to go out there around like twelve twelve thirty. Change automatically. That's good with you. No, my computer didn't change its time. I, <laughs> I just when I plugged it in here and got everything set up, it didn't do its time yeah, by itself. Updates when you connect to the internet. I don't know. Nick, you dumbass. No. Whoa. Whoa. Those are fighting words. Whoa, man. Save that for the, uh, do we want to have like a, like one of those conferences? Should we have a conference and a weigh-in this time? Are y'all trying to meet at a weigh-in? I think it'd be better for you to like, try to just put on, yeah, put, put up weight. Cause I, I can, I can go 200 and that's it. (laughs) So you want me to fucking get 200 pounds on me? That's easy. Yeah, man. It's easy. That's easy. Yeah, that's oh, 30 pounds of muscle plus. Bro, just start working out. White Castle. Look. Every day. All right, I'll fucking, like, dude, because I can only run so much, dude. Like, it's only going. It's easier to cut than it is to gain more muscle oh. or, like, less weight. I guess. I don't know. We'll see about that. It's all depending <laughs> on the person. You look like, eh, you could probably be 195. At most. How much yeah. do you weigh, Aiden? Like 160? 160, 170. You yeah. weigh more than me. Yeah. Yeah, that's because you have no hair. <laughs> that's because you have no hair, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my hair weighs me down. Yeah, that's, that's probably like five pounds right there, though. Yeah, your hair's fucking big as, like, a whole ass mop. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> but... Yeah, we're recording the second fucking, or fifth podcast right now. So. Fuck yeah. That'll fucking wrap up. I smoked a cone earlier. Let me see this podcast, dude. Nick never turned the camera. What do you mean? I seen. What do you mean? What do you, what do you want to see? I just want to see who you're interviewing. It's Matt. Yeah, okay, there we go. I couldn't see him. Oh, you didn't see him? <laughs> I walked up, I was like, oh shit, Matt. Yeah, he's right there. Yo. Yo. <laughs> yeah, that's a classic Matt line. <laughs> <laughs> classic Matt line. Yo. Oh, shit. Hey, you know Matt fucked on a submarine? Pop it. Yeah. Uh. Oh, <laughs> <okay. laughs> he, he, like, worded it somehow. He's like, I know it's possible to bang on a submarine. Oh, submarine. yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Uh, 
anything's possible. Yeah. Imagine, imagine being like a fucking, being part of like the space station. Like, uh, I know sex is banned up there. Sex is banned. I mean, it's a. Uh, oh, can't have the kids floating around. No, it's like it can't. Oh, the whole bitch is monitored. You know. Plus, you know, if they get pregnant up there, the baby's probably gonna be deformed. You think? Because of the the gravity. You think that'd really affect the baby a lot? I think it would. I never really Maybe thought got, about it like that. Just got soft bones. That's true. You think gravity helps it out, like somewhat? Just the fucking weight of the mom's stomach pulling down or some shit. Oh, that. Eh. I don't know. I never fucking thought. It. Pros and cons. Imagine being a space baby. <laughs> I fucking... Maybe one day. Not in current year though. Space station dude. sex, dude. Give us another century. If we're still here. I think there was a fucking. Never mind. I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole. I would have gotten. Go on. No, I... no. Nah, we already got. Dirty and misogynistic. I don't want to. Yeah, let's just keep going. I don't. No, we don't need to go any deeper. Stick, stick to the theme. I just said I, I, I think there's something way back long ago when when the porn industry was going, you know, first starting. You know those uh those plane rides where it takes you up and it feels like it's it's zero gravity and shit like that. Yeah. I think a company paid that and. Like a really big, big amount to film, like <laughs> zero gravity porn. Zero just, gravity. Well, just porn. in those settings where that plane is going up and down like super hard, you know. And so those times where they're That's, they're floating, they're it's fucking wild. They're, I can't say I've seen it. I I have not seen it. I swear on everything. Sure. I've I've never seen it. Never seen it. But I I I believe it's a real thing. I want to be a po like. If you can fuck under a submarine, you can fuck in the air. That's totally different. No, <laughs> you, you, you can fuck in the air. People fuck in the, uh, in the bathroom of, of uh, you know, like That's... commercial planes. Alright, but you can still feel the gravity, but it's zero gravity? Oh, uh, well, the, yeah, the zero gravity. I'm just talking about having sex on a plane. Oh, yeah. In general. Well, because playing people on the Mile High Club. <laughs> Mile High Club. Wait, you never heard of that? No. That's mm -mm. what it's called. Hey, yo, I'm gonna try to call Austin real quick. Oh, shit. So, uh, I guess one fucking question. So, you're gonna, so, you're gonna stick with the, the Navy ship for a whole 20 years, you said? No. No? Nah, I'm gonna get out. Either that or... Uh, try to get commission as an officer. And like, make more money. Oh, okay. But I wouldn't be doing the same job. Okay. And I, on, I guess what I was trying to ask is like <laughs> that question. So you served. No. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you 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 get done, and you leave. But like, see, this is what I would do. I, I don't mean to cut you off real quick, but like, when I, my plan is is whenever I get my journeyman's license, if and I, if and when I ever do, um, I just I don't I don't think I'm gonna do an electrical job anymore after that. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna work some sort of mundane, just keep my pockets, just make sure I have food in my mouth, sleep every day, pay my basic you know car payment, insurance, you know. Yeah. You know, just something mundane, because, like, like I said, like, it's, I just need something to be guaranteed that I have that, you know, that you're, what's it called, job security, I guess, is what it's called. Uh, like, what's honestly, the plan? I, I, a lot of people who join the military, they do it to travel as well, uh, yeah. but unfortunately for my job, I can go to one of two places, or two places in the whole world and that's 
fucking where I'm at right now, Kings Bay, Georgia, and Bangor, Washington. I can't get stationed overseas. You can't get stationed overseas? I can't get stationed. Oh. But there is people stationed overseas, though, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. We have bases out there. It's just, I can't go to them. Mm-hmm. Because of my job. There's nothing there for me. Okay. I see. But then, like, so you're saying that for the officer aspect, like, if it, if it were... No, I'm in my job right now. Uh, but... Like, what I'm trying to ask is, like, so, like I said, like, after that's done, what is going to the other bases across seas? Like, what you mean by that? Uh, so we have a... A sea duty cycle, which you're attached to a ship, and then a shore duty, where you just stay shore side. You don't get deployed oh. anymore for a while. Okay. Uh, and all my shit is in the U.S. Yeah, of course. But I uh, can't can't go to Japan, can't go to Italy. Oh. So. Anywhere. Yeah. But if you were to get out, what would you do, though? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. I'll cover that when I get there. That's yeah. That's how I. That's how I operate. I'll figure that out whenever I get to that point. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go back to school. Really start it while I'm in, and then finish it once I get out. If you go back to school, then like, God get bless, a, bro. Get a, get a little degree. And then get a job that doesn't use it. So what is it? Is that is that just leveling up? I guess at that point, still. You know how people say you look at life like a game, and you just gotta find a chance to level up at every point. And it was like, what? You're gonna just go back to fucking school again? I guess that's a level up. I don't know. Yeah. But fuck, man. Uh -huh. You going into the military and then going back to school is a commitment. It's gonna be a. Uh... A lifestyle change. How do you find the fucking... This sounds so... This is gonna get really deep, but how do you fucking find the drive to do all that bullshit? Because I can't. I would not. Like you said, you wanted uh, a change back then, which is really what pushed you to this point now, but like... Now I have to maintain. Maintain consistent change? Yeah. Uh, because... I can get out the military and go back to doing the exact same thing I was doing before I joined the military, which is what I don't want to happen. Yeah. Because then I'm going to get back into that cycle and just, it's going to be boring. Yeah, no, I bet. I mean, I don't know. I didn't want to get fucking too deep and philosoph philosophical an uh, hour and 30 in. Or something like that, but uh, are we? Well, I started recording an hour and thirty minutes ago. Oh. I'm probably gonna have to cut some of the bullshit out, but <laughs> uh, no, the uh, um... yeah, I've fucking I've been real shitty on uploading this podcast or at least recording it. I mean, I've just been trying to fucking move in and get my shit straight here. Yeah, and. With the 15-hour shifts, dude, it's just been really kicking my ass. So, but since I said, fuck this job, you got I time. got time. I got time, you know. Anytime I got time, it's Nikki J time, you know. So just know that. Anytime Nikki J unemployed, he ain't. He's Nikki J. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's not unemployed. <laughs> he's Nikki J. <laughs> Oh man, I I for real. This sounds terrible. I I just I hate being ex like like basically being forced to do something that I don't want to do. If I'm being a hundred percent honest, it sounds bad, but I don't want to work. But I know you have to. You know, you just bite yeah. the bullet and you you get to the point where you're like, oh, like I had to quit my fast food job to be like, well, I'm not gonna go any further here. So Chicken Express, man, that was. Rest that was the gig, man. Dude, chicken and... Could have been you. GM. 
Thank you, dude. I probably could, if I would have stuck with it, I bet you I would have had an opportunity to own that store. But I, you know what? Like, I just was like, how the fuck much farther am I going to go in life? Yeah. Respectfully, you know, because, I mean, like, you, they're making, you know, my bosses up there, they're, they're cool people. They're making money, granted. But, like, you expand, you, you open another Chicken Express store, you open another one, you open another one, you open another one, you just make more money at that point. You know, I mean, <laughs> when it, is that all it is? Is just make more money, make more money, make more money, make more money. That's what I'm saying about the whole money thing is like it's kind of like lost value like as time goes on, as I've grown up. It sounds shitty, but like the inflation, the fucking, you know, the minimum wage bullshit. We're not here to get political, but like, you know, money's just been not valued as it should be in my opinion i feel like i see it the opposite oh what money's so important that, well money's important uh, regardless yeah growing up i didn't think money was important you know i thought fuck it we can go to the bank get more money but it don't really work like that no but now uh how do i want to word this Nowadays, I would say money's more important because things are going up and you're having less and less of it now. Well, I need money regardless. You know, I, need, I needed money to get all the way from one state to another. So, yeah. I mean, it's important for sure. But as I was sitting there, you know, 7 a.m. going to this job site, you know, an hour or whatever away just bust my ass for this dollar just so I can move states away so trust me like when I, I say like yeah I need it so I can fucking do the things that I want to do but just like I said kind of fucking like school was cool and everything but like just be expected to go to school fucking every day just like in my mind it really made me fucked up I was like how are you going to tell me what to do? <laughs> I'm a whole ass human being. Like, I get to do whatever I want to an extent. But, yeah, you know, it's not, you know, it's that conversation. Is free will even a real thing? You know, or are you, are you put into a position where your will is already there? <laughs> it's, it's like, it's that stupid free will uh, conversation. I like that conversation, but that shit is, just takes forever. The whole, is free will a real thing? Like, do you make your destiny? Or are you put in a position to where shit just falls into place and that's what your life is now? Because you chose, like you chose to do what you want to do, as so yeah. as I did too, kind of to an extent, but... I very well could have, if I really applied my, my brain to, like, some shit, I probably could have gotten, you know, stay-at-home jobs like some of our homeboys. And I would have killed for yeah, a stay-at-home. Still, still but, possible. Well, yeah, it's still possible right now. I'd kill for Perfect. a stay-at-home job, bro. COVID, so I, yeah. I'd just fucking, to get up out of my bed and roll over to my computer and turn it on, have to just talk to people or whatever it may be. I don't know. It's just a lot easier than climbing 15 feet in the fucking air, using one arm, holding a light up, waiting for someone to fucking get up there, and you're sitting there for 20 minutes just like, hurry the fuck up, my arm's getting tired. Yeah. I'd much rather just sit somewhere, work a mundane job. That's why I say money's just kind of been like, you know, you make it. You just got to, you know, be smart with it that or keep making it make more of it them f motherfuckers at mcdonald's making bank now dude i fucking i'll, I'll go for it and i'll make bank oh yeah i hear that they make bank there ain't no in and outs up here though rest in peace oh, fuck, it. It's, fuck that place what? they fuck you in and out yes yeah, in and out is all right hey but shout out taco bell Ta 
Matter of fact, after your little golf trip. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. No. <laughs> Go ahead, pull up to your nearest. Listen, Taco Bell, listen to me, everyone. This guy tells me every Five day. Five beef quesadillas. He, he won't right. stop. Look, he's still going. <laughs> Two crispy chicken sandwich tacos. All right. They don't serve those anymore. Shut up. They don't Find serve for that too. Fam, they don't serve the fucking crispy chicken sandwich. That's not even a sandwich. It was like a pita bread. It was like it a, was pita. Yeah, it was a pita bread. Bro. It was a pita bread in like a small tender. <laughs> All right, whatever. Matter of fact, make it spicy crispy chicken sandwich. Taco. This guy, this guy tells me to get the same Taco Bell order every time, and I, and that's, and, but I tell him One. what's wrong about the order is that there's too much food. Repeat. One chicken. Quesadilla. Repeat the order from start to finish again, please. All right, five beef quesadillas. You told right. me six. You told me six. You told yeah, me six. Yeah, because you were acting up. You were acting different, all right? All five right. beef quesadillas. If, if you're bougie, get steak, all right? Because you're balling. All right? And on those beef quesadillas, you're going to get creamy jalapeno sauce, all right? That's like another 69 cents. Each burrito. <laughs> then two crispy chicken sandwich tacos and a chicken quesadilla. Matter of fact, we're creek at. Nigga needs to start bulking. He just start bulking and eat that. That's your bulk meal right there, dude. <laughs> On God. You wanna you wanna gain two hundred from one fifty in about two months? There you go. Eat that three times a month and you'll be good. Nah, eat that every day. You know, you that's be, so much food, dude. You'll like, be sitting like a motherfucker, but hey. That is a whole day's worth of food for me, probably. It's yeah, a lot it's of about food. evening. I, I, you know, the the Taco Bell, Taco Bell's been trying to come back because they, they, you know, got shit on, you know, for a minute. But then, you know, Doja Cat came back, brought back the, the fucking Mexican, Mexican pizza. pizza. Yeah, Mexican pizza's back. Um, that comes out the 19th, actually. The Mexican pizza's coming back, I think, officially. So, but, you know, Taco Bell, if you want to lob a sponsorship one day, <clears throat> you know, just... To me. Yeah, to our troops. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, you know what? I'm I'm really upset that they took they took away this fucking. They had a dollar menu type, you know, cravings like little roller, like a griller. They had these yeah. gr grillers, the beefy nacho loaded griller. I know exactly what you're talking. About. Oh, <laughs> they took that bitch away, dude. It had like these chips. Like the Frito, like red chips yeah. on the inside. And so you would crunch, but it was like super soft and like had that little crisp on the outside because they threw it on the grill. And I was just like, I'd get those all the fucking time and that would be it. Hey, y'all got Arby's up there? We're not doing the Arby's thing. <laughs> 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 and not from the podcast that, that got Arby's famous, dude. Arby's <laughs> is big right now. Do you see the shit going on Twitter with the, yeah. with the other podcast? Hey, boys. They pop boys, it, you know, you know that uh, you know that podcast is actually a, a sub. I, this sounds so nerdy. Is a sub podcast from the Joe Budden podcast. So those guys are his technical crew behind Joe Budden's uh, podcast. So, so that's kind of cool. So they film the shit. They they edit the podcast. So the Need to Know podcast is like really big part of that. So they're they're cool as fuck. But fuck, dude. Yeah, number one podcast, in my opinion. Uh, Joe Budden podcast. <laughs> yeah, shout out Joe Rogan. Are you going to spell... I said Joe Budden. Joe Budden. Not that Not that <laughs> racist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he, it's funny how someone gets canceled and then comes back. You know? Man, living life perfectly fine, man. Nah, he, I, he wasn't really canceled, but... Yeah, I just, they, I, they tried to. I think it's it funny. Where people just people like to latch on whatever's hot and you know shit like that. It's very fair though. During the situation, obviously, let's not discredit what he said, but like <laughs> he didn't say in a in an attacking, in a powerful, yeah, in a in a you're a fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh dude, it's just the stupid. My day's gonna come too. Let me just say that I'm gonna get canceled one day. That's a good thing. I, I'd rather. I mean, you're big enough to cancel. 
at if I'm big enough to cancel that that's that's the thing yeah you can still get canceled on a smaller level we canceled we canceled uh we canceled thou shall not be named or I canceled him <laughs> oh. <laughs> but uh yeah you can be canceled on a smaller level uh, yeah there's tons of like small streamers that almost uh took off that you know did some sort of fuck up or that just won't hit that front page you know Man. one day you know youtube uh, sent me a fucking uh a survey to fill out and it was actually kind of interesting like cuz it was a content bullshit one it was on my front page on my phone i was like yeah sure i'll take it cuz i didn't think anything would happen but like they kept asking like all these you know, basic questions. Do you know you can make money as a cr as a creator? Do you know the guidelines? Blah blah blah. It was just like a survey, just a bunch of bullshit questions. And I'm trying to see if though what I asked it, I said is, yeah. I, I said yeah, put my videos on the recommended page more, <laughs> <laughs> like start recommending like, my videos. All people. Yeah, they don't like, fucking. There's it's always big people. There's there's. Awesome. Yeah, well, there's tons of people like me, you know, that only have like 200 maybe yeah. something subscribers that that do this shit. And well, if you're grinding and not getting any recognition. No, and they actually like, you know, like try and put effort towards some of the videos and shit like that. So I just said, I think it'd be cool if they, they paired like the recommended videos. And also it could fuck you to an extent, but like if you put... The similar view count or like similar, you know, numbers with other smaller channels, like in that recommended section on the side when you're watching a video. Yeah. If they were just to group up like people with the most similar numbers, then I don't know, maybe numbers will go up or, you know, just shit like that should be easier. But they put most of the stuff through a computer as far as I know. <laughs> and they just like, yeah, these are the biggest channels. These are what follow them. These are what the kind of sub, you know, sub channels are of it. All right. One topic I wanted to talk about before we fucking go, because, I mean, I have to talk with someone about it, not because I already talked to myself about it. Oh. All right. Dude, that shit in there. He went. I, dude, that shit. Give him a warning. That's all you can do. warning. Uh, man, the Kendrick Lamar album. <laughs> so, I gotta, be, I gotta ask. I mean, like, what'd you think? What'd you think? I mean, did you even listen? Yeah, I, I've listened a couple times. Do you? Are you? Are you with the uh, the the thought, the thinking that like music has to be heard in different settings to, for it to be right? Because you can't just, like, like what I did when I sat down and listened to the Kendrick album. Like, I don't know if you saw my video, but I put out the album reaction to it. <clears throat> and I literally, it was like 12 a.m. was whenever it came out. So I was like, all right, fine. I'm going to do a first first reaction, you know, to it. See how it goes. I just sat here and just, just looked at my little fucking visual bullshit. I had the Spotify going. And then, like, I was I was jamming. I was feeling it. But, like, some of them, I was like, I gotta be like... Alright. What? So, there is... There is not anywhere a right setting for the song We Cry Together. <laughs> there is nowhere you can listen no. to it where it'd be like, yeah, this, this by yourself, won't. By yourself. <laughs> by yourself. That's it. I think I think you could only listen to that by yourself, like in the car, if you're if you're liking that shit. That beat go, that don't 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 be like that. That beat go hard. That beat is is. I mean, I like that beat. Scary. The little fucking piano, doom 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 ding 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 ding. You know that that little fucking, the snare hitting, and obviously there's no fucking follow, as they're rapping. <laughs> But like, yeah, it's like one of those songs. I don't have. I don't. Went from fighting to horny, and I was so. Oh confused. yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, my face at the end too. Whenever oh, really? I was like, you know, it makes sense though. That's that. <laughs> that's that. That toxic relationship type shit though. Yeah. Which is, I never experienced that, and I don't know how that goes. But like, how do you? I think that's that's a case study in itself for you to argue with someone and then just like want to stick. I mean, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I want to still stick my penis in you afterwards, but like, <laughs> they were going, they were arguing, arguing. Yeah. You know, uh, I said that song was like a very big Eminem Kim uh, type song. If you've ever heard that one, uh, it was on the Marshall Mathers LP and. It's pretty much basically the same thing. Eminem talking about how he's gonna kill his wife, and you know, it's alongside like a like a music's playing, and there's a chorus, a little bit, and then you know more talking. Sounds like a story, arguing with someone. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think uh, there isn't a like you said there isn't a setting you should play that in, but you should still look at that and be like, damn, that. It takes skill to, to kind of like, you know, be like, I'm going to put this out. And it takes balls to be like, this is a concept that a lot of people won't understand. And of course, it's in a song like form. But, you know, it's it's not meant to be like, turn up and, and fucking yeah. and shit like that. Like, I can't tell you, I, I, I feel that way about some lyrical rappers. You know, you, there's not a correct setting that you can just turn some lyrical miracle shit on <laughs> lyrical miracle <laughs> that was still R. yeah yeah i mean i don't know what like what are you saying what are you saying though about that song just like you can't play it anywhere yeah i wouldn't that's, hear it at the club it. that's not yeah, a... you, you're definitely not hearing at the club you're not hearing a fucking target <laughs> no 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 <laughs> no no um, but that's not the worst song on the album. I like that song. I that's kind of weird. I know, but like, in a way, I like it. I want to say that's the worst one. Like, this album was kind of like to pimp a butterfly, because he went from Good Kid, Mad City to that, and I think a lot of people were expecting something like Good Kid, Mad City. You think people were expecting and, something like "damn"? Yeah. Okay, that's mm -mm. and that I think that's why there's so many mixed reactions with this whole album. Well, I haven't heard many reactions from other people yet. I need to. Nah, I'm just talking about like on Twitter, because there's people who are saying it's good. There's people who are saying it's shit. But that's the same thing that happened with "To Pimp a Butterfly." But I feel like that's the same thing that happens with uh like any artist though like people did that with Donda too and then like later on people were like oh shit this is aging a lot better than we thought you know yeah a lot of the songs still hit um uh, as opposed to like CLB where you're listening to fucking one of the songs immediately and then you're just like this is this is it it's already catered to me this is it's perfect i already know i'm gonna listen to this song for, forever but then yeah. like that's what i like about like donda and shit like you know the kendrick album because you won't get it at first you won't you're you're gonna have to listen to it 50 times or something like that that's what i was trying to get at like maybe not 50 times obviously that's an exaggeration but like I was having this argument with Anthony <laughs> the other day, and because uh, I asked him too, I said, "Hey, did you listen to the Kendrick album?" And he's like, um, "No, nah, I heard two songs from him, and I don't really like Kendrick uh, like that." And I was like, "Oh, all right, it's fine." He said he heard two songs from him, like just in general, basic songs, like. I said, yeah. like, from the album? Like, I asked him. He's like, nah, just, like, some of his songs. Like, you know, like, two. I've heard two or three songs from him, and I don't like the way he sounds, you know, or something like that, you know. 
and I and I was like, okay, yeah, sure, it was fine. And he's like, and we got into. He's like, why are you mad? <laughs> and I was like, no, bro, I, I'm not mad, bro. I just I said I think you should listen to this album still though, because it's like you shouldn't discredit like someone's work off of two two songs that you just heard. You're gonna totally just I not what even. What songs they were? I don't know. Probably something big on the radio or some shit like that. That's what I think. He just fucking. Yeah, it, it. We got into this big argument about it. Is is stupid. Not really big argument, but I just. Yeah. You know he. You know how he. Get, you know how he be. And yeah, he'll I probably see I this too. Be, man. Get get a handle on your brother-in-law, dude. Your brother-in-law. <laughs> I swear, yeah, dude. Up, Brandon was there, too. What? You remember whenever Anthony and I were arguing in the chat? I think. When? Yesterday? Or the day before? I don't know. About Kendrick. Yeah, it was by the Kendrick shit. Uh, it was two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. I just heard you, but for like a minute. Oh, no, yeah. He wasn't on the game. He just heard me in the room being like, okay, okay, listen. Yeah, dude, I was trying to fucking take a nap. This motherfucker over here screaming. Like, I'm not dude. screaming, dude. I just fucking... No, you you were... I was passionate. You I were was... passionate. That's a perfect word. You my were thing, passionate. My thing with Anthony, though, is like I told him, I said, bro, because what he said is like I just listened to two Kendrick songs, like in general. Like I said, from the... I asked he's him. He's probably just saying that to fucking... Well, I know he's a, he's a dickhead. Thank your chain. No, he's a dickhead. He is a dick. Man. And he knows I, I, I like fucking music. It's because me and Anthony fuck around too much. Well, I know. I know how Anthony be. So, like, I I just fucking... Because the way he worded it, I wish he was just more specific. Obviously, at like, at this point, he's probably just fucking with me. But he, it sounded like he said, yeah, I just listened to two random Kendrick songs, and I just think he's not a rapper for me. And I, and I was like, nah, you, you're just going to draw that conclusion and, off of two songs? I, hey, I'm in. He said, hey, yeah. I know what I like. I don't care what anybody else listens to. They don't like to listen to it, so it'll be, I'm not saying, be them. I'm not saying, but it's just drawing judgment. It's just saying, nah, I don't like him. I'm not going to even try. It's trying. That's it. Sucks for him. More listening hours for me. <laughs> yes, I don't know. I don't know. Are you about to get ready? Yeah, I was about to ask you if you're about ready. What do you fucking mean? Look at me. I'm Look ready. at him, man. I'm ready to go. Man, yeah, fit it out, man. He finna get a hole in one on the fucking oh, dude, first hole. Carbs, man. Oh my god. Yeah, no. <laughs> um. Wow. So this should like golf with friends. Yeah. Back on the yeah. Back on uh the fucking to wrap up the album shit. Do you have any like personal favorites? Off the fucking show? Uh, Rich Spirit and what's the other one? Yeah, there's all the time. I think those are my favorites. There's 18 songs, and I liked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I like 12 songs. <laughs> so any like Spotify? Yeah. Oh, that's the song that I didn't like. I didn't like Auntie Diaries, but I understand the story behind it. Did you hear that? That's the one where he says, um, you know, the gay slur, just F, 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 F. So, like, I just, he said, like, obviously he said it with intention and there's a story behind it and shit like that, but that's just one of those songs where you said, for the Kim song or the the We Cry Together song, you can't listen to that anywhere. I feel like you can't listen to the Auntie Diaries anywhere. <sighs> just because it's just yeah. not not for the 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 problematic shit, but just because of how it sounds. You got to pay attention because it's a story. Because if you don't pay attention, you're gonna miss why he's saying those things. You know? Yeah. So I, I just, I don't know. That's probably my only gripe with the album is, is that song. And I didn't really care for the interludes. Yeah, I didn't either. And the inter interludes are eh. Um, 
But yeah, I just, I fucking, the Kodak Black cosign, I <laughs> love it. You know when artists do that, it's just, it's it's placing the crown on you. That's all it is, it's like a stamp of approval. To get Kendrick Lamar, the guy that's been silent forever, not forever, but for a good amount of time, to just be like, yeah, let me take this, this guy. Ah, uh, fuck with Kodak. It's just, I thought it was interesting. Out of all the rappers, he chose Kodak. Yeah. I was, uh... There's nothing weird. wrong with it. I like it. But, I don't know. Go for him, though. If you had to rate... I mean, the album's only been out two or three days. But if you had to rate it, what would you give it? Out of ten. Uh, it sounds like you're kind of disappointed. The no, way you... I'm, not, I'm not disappointed. Is it, it wasn't within my expectations. I, I I'll say that. Oh well, it, shit. It hit mine, I guess. So I, I, I so I'm like I'm like what I was talking about earlier. I was expecting something. Uh, similar to Dam or Good Kid, Mass City. Well, there will never be a good another Good Kid, Mass City. To nice. be honest, uh, a rating. I say seven, seven or eight. Yeah, seven point five. I'll, I'll give it seven point five. Yeah, eight point. I gave I gave mine eight point five. And like my my rating was at eight point five, and it's not perfect, yeah. but like definitely be better than Jack Harlow. <laughs> that was that was alright. It was alright. That was alright. <laughs> but that, uh, one, that was a low three for me, my boy. What? Oh, it was a three. Jack Harlow's. Yes. Jack Harlow's was a three. <laughs> Shit. Damn, dude. I um. Going back real quick, it's like, it's so hard to say, like, you can't, you know how people are like, oh, this is his best project, you know? Yeah. But at the time, nobody thought Good Kid, Mad City, I'm not sure if that's what you want to call his best project. It's all. It's definitely up there. It's it's up there, but like, uh, I feel like with time, because this being his last album on TDE, uh, Oh, this this might be there. I think this this will be there. I give it a month or two. People are gonna just be like, God. Now we gotta wait. You know what? That's yeah, however long. Yeah. This shit just takes time to realize whenever it was good. I, Cause I've hated shit at first, and then went back and was like, Oh, yeah, it was good. That was me with a lot of Kanye shit. Like I didn't listen to growing up. Uh, when we were going to like middle school and shit, that's what everyone was listening to a lot was Runaway, um, uh, Life of Pablo, shit yeah, like that. Yeah, Life of Pablo I didn't like when it first came out. But like... But now... You go back. Like you go back and you're just like, Can we get much higher? <laughs> so high. <laughs> and it's just like... I can't believe I... I can't believe I fucking thought... I wasn't gonna bump this scratch. Yeah, it's a lot okay. of. Headbanging in the car. Yeah, that's that's how I feel like this Kendrick album is. I mean, yeah. To to me, obviously, I don't know. Too early to say it's his best album of all time, but he released "Damn" and then he did "Black Panther." Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean... I wouldn't say Black Panther was a project, though. No, it's, it's in his uh, albums it, for on his Spotify page, so it's under him. I don't think it's... Yeah, when the, you open the Kent Black Panther album, music, and inspired by Kendrick Lamar and SZA. Kendrick Lamar. And SZA. Those are the two names that are main here under the album. So, those are the main credits. So the 14 songs, five of them are he's on. But those are people from. Who the fuck that? Oh, there she is. You see it under there? You see it under the. Yeah, I see it. 
inspired by Kendrick Lamar, SZA. Now, I'm also talking about what fucking song is she in? There's it's only uh, all the stars. Yes, yeah, she's just in one song. That's a good ass song, for though. Her. That's a good ass song, though. <laughs> there ain't no life for me to be gone. Tell me what you gonna do for me. Confrontation ain't lose for me. Yeah. I don't know. It's like so we got we got our we got our Kanye. We got our Drake. We got our Kendrick. I'm almost ready. Now what? Now what? Who else needs to drop? I don't know. I don't know. I think those are the. You no, know we need we need hmm. another Frank Ocean. Oh shit! That's that's gonna be big for R and B. Yeah. Yeah, that's that'll be huge. Yeah, that that'll be another one. I guess if Jay Z decides to drop another one. Oh yeah, him too. But he old. I don't know if he'll. He just do features now. His fifty year old ass dude. It's crazy. The feature with Beyonce. Yeah, they they need a little collab collab out family album. <laughs> Blue on the track. <laughs> oh shit! But it sounds like fucking Brando's fucking wrapping up, and we're fixing to get going. So I guess we're gonna have to fucking wrap up here. Do you have anything you want to get off your chest? Did fix the truck? Uh, what? Did the truck ever get fixed? Oh, his truck on the deer. Uh, not yet, not yet, but it's still got that little dent in it. It's fucking, uh, yeah, it's, it's cleaner now, but yeah, it's not yet, not yet. At least it didn't get worse, bro. That, that bitch would have destroyed that front end, man. That, yeah, that shit was, that shit was scurry. I've never been in a fucking shit where you hear like, boom, just like get hit like that. That shit was crazy because it's. I, I said it sounded like a gunshot, but Brando was like, nah. Bro, this <laughs> whole ass head probably rolled under the tire. That's fucked. That's so f- Deer, Deer is one of the most stupidest animals I've ever fucking seen in my life. Just run in front of something that's going 60 miles an hour. Maybe it'll stop. They not looking for you. It's just trying to cross the street. Big ass headlights. Stupid as fuck, dude. But you got anything you wanna wanna plug? You get off your chest. You gotta tell the people before we wrap this up. Uh, Jeez. shout out Taco Bell. <laughs> um, make sure y'all drink water. Drink water. Drink water is a big one. And go outside. And go outside. That's all I got, man. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming on, dog. This I is uh, it, man. this is just a. Uh, you know, been a great conversation. I'll probably have you back on again if you're ever down. Yeah, I'm down. All right, bet. Yeah, hopefully right. we can get one in the... I'm trying to get it off in the physical, so hopefully one day we can have a whole studio sesh one day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I we'll might see. be back for the next mukbang. Hey, your next job? Co-host. Podcast. <laughs> Podcast co-host. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be the content manager for Nikki J. Bro, just fucking... Y'all got internet down there, right? Yeah. I'm just using put, it right now. Just put, <laughs> just put fucking... Just put the Nikki J channel on the submarine TVs, every TV. Have them all <laughs> playing at once, and... And then... then we we'll all know what that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. But I, I gotta go get my shoes on and go... Uh, fuck with people while they're golfing. <laughs> Grab the camera and shit. Get, get your little Tiger Wood impression on and be straight. All right, man. All right, dog. All right. I appreciate you coming. I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right, man. All right, later. Hey. Oh.